we were just saying as we were watching the footage of your taxi pulling up to the hospital and exploding, I was asking whether you have any memories or recollection of that moment. I, I can remember the, the blast. I can remember getting blown up. I can remember thinking, why is a wagon drove into the back of me? And then I was out. But the actual driving into the hospital, I've got no recollection memory of driving into the hospital at all. It's extraordinary, yeah. isn't it, how the brain works in a way yeah. to protect you? I think, I think that's what it does, it protects you. Obviously, yeah. your brain works in a strange way. Yeah. So. yeah, and that's what you've been working on. It's a year almost yeah. to the day, isn't it, since that moment? Well, it was on the 14th, it was, so yeah. it's been a couple of days. Since. Just a bit over that. Yeah. Obviously, as we were hearing in the VT, your, your physical injuries are healing, the mental injuries are still a battle. Yeah, well, you, you're permanently stuck in the car. For everyone else, the world moves on, but mm. you're always stuck in the same situation every day. And that's PTSD for you, isn't it? Well, it's it's smells, it's looking in the mirror, seeing a scar on you, it's... Yeah. I mean, the slightest bit of smell of plastic, it, it just reminds me of the actual car burning and burning, him being all over me, I was burning. So it's, it's a strange thing. Um, what's... Um... At the time, I remember as well, of course, and now talking to you, is that there was something about your actions that saved potentially a lot of lives that day, in that you... It's an odd thing, isn't it, being a taxi driver, I think, cos you, you've always got your back to all these strangers who are in and out of your yeah, car. Yeah, yeah. But I wonder whether, over the years, you just pick up on feelings and body language... Because... You know when some, something's not right? You, 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 like, you think someone's going to jump out your taxi and not pay. You kind of have a feeling something's not right. Something's Sixth gonna... sense of something. Yeah. So tell us what happened, cos there is a really interesting... I mean, as far ..thing as that can... happened when this man got in the back of your taxi. I mean, you know something's wrong, because... I was blocked in, I couldn't... I had to reverse out the street, so it was kind of just... When he got in, everything was wrong about it. He'd sunk behind the seat, I couldn't see him. Just all he said was women's hospital. And then when I tried to make a conversation with him halfway through, no answer, no response. You asked and... him, did you, if he had yeah, a baby I said, then? Yeah, I said, as your wife has a baby, and he was just like, no response, so... Usually when a customer doesn't talk back or respond to you, something's wrong, isn't it? So... The bomb went off in your taxi. Yeah. Um, have the police come to a conclusion why it went off early? No, I mean... The way I drove into the hospital, I can't, I can't explain why I drove in that fast into the hospital. I think he's had a handheld device and I've jerked him forward and... He's... And it was that action that meant that... Yeah, he... whether I've meant to... I, I don't think I've meant... I, I can't explain why I drove in like that. I think the fact that he wanted to go into the hospital and wipe out loads of babies and mothers anyway. I think it was the best action anyway, so... Yeah. The and fact actually, that... but the fact that you did that and yeah. the fact that if it was the breaking caused him to yeah. uh, explode the bomb sooner meant that you have saved... Well, I don't... Of lives. But the injuries to me are not... To live with yourself if a baby dies, I don't think anyone could live with that. Especially if you went into the hospital and he's wiped out loads of babies and loads of mothers. I mean, it must be traumatic for all the women that were in labour anyway, so... Cos that happened outside, of course. Yeah. Just, um... In terms of your own survival, that is a miracle, isn't it? I mean, we, we, that yeah. word isn't being used lightly today. No, no, You're no. You're not expected. There's, there's no explanation for right. it. He wasn't... I mean, I had no protection in the car. He was sitting less than half a metre away from me, the gap, so... Can you just... I mean, he was sitting as far as you were from me, so there was no protection. What so. were your... the physical injuries straight after? Well, obviously, apart from burns and bomb all inside me, outside me, and... My eardrums were burst and they had to stitch my ear back together and... I, I was only interested in my brain, funny enough, being OK. Yeah. So, cos my dad has a brain hemorrhage, so... All I wanted to know was my brain was all right. And then as soon as he said my brain was all right, I said, I, I felt all right then, so... That's all of You have this wonderful smile on your face, yeah. David, and I know that you've testified and said, look, Humour has been a hugely important part of your healing process. Yeah. Can you explain I, that? If, if you can't it's a scouse way, though, isn't it? Just can't <laughs> do it? I can remember being in the hospital and when the police come in and he said, Did he say anything to you? I said, Yes, slow down, you're going to blow us up. <laughs> 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 and all the doctors and nurses were giggling away and things, but I think it's the only way of getting through it. That yeah. gallows humour yeah. is hugely, hugely important for you. And, you know, as, as Rambo says, you're a scouser, you're from That's that part way. of the world, humour is such an entrenched in who in you are. Well, I was getting my pictures took the other day by, in the house and the photographer said, sit down. And just as I sit down, my jeans ripped up the back and I went... <laughs> <laughs> so everyone's wondering why all my pictures are like that on the canvas because I've got a big riff in the jeans from behind. So every time he said, stand up and move to the wallop, you go, 
sliding <laughs> over discre yeah, discreetly. You must have, though, when you think about it, as you say, you were not expected to have survived something like that. I don't think anyone's expected to survive no. anything like that. It's... No, and it's an extraordinary thing. And do you... You clearly not worked for a year. You love taxi driving. It's obvious that you enjoy... You Did it's, you enjoy your yeah, job? Yeah, it's your regular customers. It's, it's knowing you're the only person that gets to speak to an elderly person. Yeah. I, you're the only conversation I'm going to have all day. It's, it's them type of things. You can never stop a Scouse taxi no. driver from talking. Well, that's, that's my experience. That's the main thing, isn't never it? Never stop. But we oh. were talking about yeah. the impact people have in the community, and, and you're absolutely right. Yes. That service that you offer to some of those regulars, and it's the only conversation they have, yeah. it's a hugely important resource to your community. Yeah, yeah. Um, will you get back in the taxi, do you think? I want to get back in the taxi. The more people that say, oh, you're not going to go back to that, it kind of makes you more determined to go back to it. It's, it's a strange thing. You Just dis prove people wrong. You discharged yourself from the hospital really mm. quickly as well, before the doctors wanted you to leave. Yeah, well, every time they put me up and down the corridor, there was elderly people on beds, and it's not a nice sight when you think, well, I'm OK, why are they dying and they haven't got a... The NHS isn't doing very well waiting times anyway, so as soon as I knew my brain was OK, I just wanted one of them to get me bed, so... And then when he said, we've got a bed for you upstairs, I said, well, why can't you give one of them a bed upstairs? It's an I just wanted spirit. to get home and I just wanted... To... I knew if I got home, I'd be OK then. But as long as they got the emergency services they needed then. It's an incredible um, situation where you listen to someone like you and you think it's all about perspective, isn't it? In that you've given yourself, right from the beginning, this perspective that I've survived, my brain is OK, so everything else after that I can cope yeah, with. Yeah. And well, it's a, it's pain's, a... pain, you can live with pain, can't you? It's... It's one of them things, isn't it? I know you're in pain now as you're sitting. I mean, I've got certain parts of my body that don't work as well as what they should be doing, but yeah. you just get on with it. How do you feel about the bomber? I don't feel nothing about him. He was just another person that, unfortunately, was sick himself. Has a few problems, and I've got. There's nothing to. He's not in my memory. There's no part mm. of him. I can't even remember his name after the time. But you do say you remember something about his face, do you? Yeah, it's, it's, it's when I looked in the mirror. I just seen a smile and it reminded me of like the Joker type of clown smile. And I couldn't remember. And I said to my wife, I want to see his face on the telly when he was released a couple of nights after. So when it went to him on the, on the TV, I said, I don't recognise him, but he had, he's just got this big smile. Mm. And obviously that's why my brain's seeing a clown yeah. type of thing. Wow. And of course, today we haven't shown a picture of him because mm. you don't want to ever see a picture of well, him look, again. Well, he's, he's not in my memory. Mm. I'm, I'm, the car's in my memory, the, mm. the accident incident. Is in my memory, but how do you oh, feel yeah. about the future, Dave? Well, I mean, I don't know. The future is the future, isn't it? Who's to tell? You're just living in the present. Yeah, yeah. I guess. That's, that's the only way you can live, yeah. isn't it? Well, I mean, I'm sure there'll be a long queue of people wanting to be your first passenger. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, is, is David around? <laughs> I'll wait for David. That's what you'll get now well, around Liverpool. He's didn't even give me a tip now before I go off. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? We are... What a tonic. And we'll always be eternally grateful that it was you that were in yeah. the taxi because your actions, whatever it was that did it, the miracle that kept you alive, your spirit, your humour is testament to all of us. As Rambis says, perspective is so, so important. Mm, incredible. And it shines out of you in, in, in such a tangible way. Honestly, a real example. Well, my wife wasn't very happy. I said she was 41 in the papers and she's <laughs> only 40. <laughs> <laughs> That's your biggest problem right yeah, yeah, now. Yeah. I can imagine <laughs> your wife has her hands full with you from the few minutes we've been going. Stand up. Yeah. Get the taxi driving. Just go straight to stand up. I mean, that's amazing. Well, thank you for coming yeah, in. Yeah, it's uh, wonderful to be able to Continued good luck you. with the recovery as well. We know that that battle's going to carry on, but we're with you every step of the way. Thank you very much. Amazing. Congratulations, David, on everything you've achieved. Thank you.